common foods, pretty much like stuff we we eat as you know Ameri typical American stuff. I I you know I had I actually didn't have a lot of ramen in my mission, so which which was kind of funny. I usually tried to be be outside of the box on that. So you know I made sandwiches here and there, and um, I would um, I would cook vegetables. Um, a few apartments we have rice cooker in. And so, you know, we made some dishes with rice and, you know, we had frying pans. So, you know, made stuff like that, you know, we did make mac and cheese. It was pretty good. But, um, a lot of the other, uh, typically other foods you get served out there, let's see, especially stuff, um, in the San Francisco area that's unique is, um, you know, there's like this, uh, this soup called chop suey, which is like, you know, pork and like a whole bunch of these other vegetables and broth, um, which was pretty darn good. And then dessert wise, they had this, uh, ice cream treat called an it's it, um, you know, spelled like it's, you know, with the apostrophe and then it, um, um, after a dash. And so pretty much what it, what it is is a, and they only sell this in the Bay area is a, is oatmeal cookies with ice cream in the middle. Um, like an ice cream sandwich dipped in chocolate. So it was just really good. Like, you know, a few people offered these to us every now and then. It was just like, wow, that is awesome. And then, um, you know, so there, there were some of the things there food wise, you know, of, of like, you know, and then dinner appointments, we got a lot of other standard stuff like spaghetti or lasagna or, uh, meatloaf. Um, a lot of times, you know, we had steak, which is pretty good. And, um, there was just a lot of great, um, great diverse other foods out there. Like, uh, especially with, uh, the Filipino foods, uh, were interesting. Um, whether I was on exchanges in the Filipino ward or when I was on the East Bay side, um, they didn't have a Filipino ward there. So a lot of, uh, members from the Philippines went to the English, um, wards. So, um, they served a lot of, of rice stuff, but it had like this interesting stuff like pangsit. Uh, which is kind of like a, um, kind of like uh, these really thin noodles and stuff mixed with like string beans and stuff like that and some other vegetables. Uh, lumpia was pretty good, which is like, you know, um, kind of like taquitos, but, you know, fried, kind of like, but a little bit more fried and a little bit more meat inside or whatever kind, whatever they want to have in there, like vegetable or stuff like that. And, uh, you know, there are some weird, with the Filipino food, it was interesting. There was a weird uh, dish I never heard before called balut, um, <laughs> which I heard, I heard about when I first got there, but I never actually tried it until my very last area when we had a Filipino family that were recent converts in the, in the English ward I was serving in. And so it was like probably a couple months from going home and I, I was, they served that up. So what balut is, um, and hopefully those who are watching this don't have a weak stomach in this, but is basically a chicken or a duck egg, half developed and boiled, and you eat the whole thing. Um, well, except for a shell, of course. But yeah, you you know, it's like a half developed you know chicken or duck embryo in there. And so a lot of other missionaries, you know, either gag really gag or throw up. But I just went right through it. So <laughs> um, when I was in the Laotian ward, I had a lot of great opportunities to try the foods there. Um, a lot of the stuff they serve is really spicy. So like Lao and Thai food are, uh, pretty common with each other. Um, a lot of different kinds of like spicy compared to like Mexican food spicy. Um, like even there was one of those, di these dishes called papaya salad, um, uh, which, you know, when you hear papaya, you know, that's a fruit and you, you don't expect, you know, a super spicy dish, but, um, it, it was probably the hottest thing I've ever had because it was the kind of chili they use in there. And, um, but then one of the common staples in the Lao ward was, uh, sticky rice, uh, which was rice that, you know, was able to like bundle up and every party we were at, um, had like a cooler full of these hot, you know, Ziploc bags of sticky rice that people would just pick up and just eat like popcorn, really. Um, you can just eat it with your hands and even at dinner appointments, you know, you have a big thing in the, of sticky rice in the middle, you just eat with your hands. Um, eat with your hands there and share it. Um, there was just so many other great little food experiences there. And of course my companion, and I had a couple, uh, food, a uh, couple companions. And I had food adventures there where, 
Um, you know, we try to, you know, a bacon Sunday from Denny's or, uh, um, or one time, you know, I experimented by uh, copying a something I watched on UHF, uh, where you know took a Twinkie and a hot dog, um, and then a strand of Easy Cheese. But you know, you just get interesting. You just get interesting and creative when you're a missionary. Sometimes. <laughs>